take over, and I don't care. Yeah, I know, I haven't touched pre-pack in a long time, but this is kind of special, and I wanted to kind of put it here. But it's also going on the cycling blog, too, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So, what's making this one so special? Well, it's a couple of things. The first one is this. This is, let's see if I can do this without the glare. Here we go, the, a, a first strike ration. Uh, a friend of mine named Matt, he actually sent me this. How he got it, um, I'm not asking questions, to be honest with you. Uh, these are relatively difficult to get um, because they don't, they're not really released to the civilian market. But seeing as I have my grubby little paws on one, um, we're going to put this one to fairly an ultimate test here. Well, not an ultimate test, but for me it is. Now, what exactly is this? The First Strike Ration is a 24-hour meal kit. Everything that you possibly need to eat in one day is in this small package right here. So to kind of put it to the test, at least a personal test, doesn't need to be tested, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, I'm going to be setting out on a 24-hour bikepacking adventure. Uh, translation, I'm going about 50 miles out in theory and then 50 miles back with an overnight stay. See, this is why this is going to be on pre-pack and on the cycling vlog. In this video, we're going to be uh, unpacking this. And because uh, the idea that I have with this is I'm going to be putting this inside of the trunk bag. I should probably grab that. So this is a fairly standard trunk bag. This is an Axiom, I believe it's called the Caboose. Yeah, Caboose 11. I can fit a couple dozen eggs in there. Literally, I think like two dozen eggs will fit in there. Just to give you an idea of size. So instead of packing around with this, I'm just going to be filling it with filling this with the stuff in the first strike ration, and that's all I'm taking. Big asterisk here. The asterisk of this is that I am a diabetic, and because of that, I am under strict doctor's orders that every hour I have to take a carb supplement item. Or if you guys want more of an idea of what that's going to look like, here's a here's a couple of them. But uh, beyond that, and also I'm going to have um, some water supplements too. So basically I'm going to have a, a zero carb versions of Gatorade, essentially. It's, it's noon. It's, it's good stuff. So this video is going to be the unboxing video. And this is what I'm going to be doing the entire trip on. I'm not going to stop for any other foods. Um, it's all basically right here. So let's see what we got here. And again, I am civilized. Oh, you're being difficult, aren't you? Okay. So let's see what's exactly in the first strike ration. There's a lot of stuff here, so we're doing, I think we're just gonna we're gonna start from the back and work our way forward. All right. First of all, we have the menu card. Fairly nice piece of cardboard. Yeah, it's all listed on the menu card. What's in here? But what fun is that? Actually, no. I'm gonna hold on to that. That might be useful. One plastic bag. Oh, the Ziploc bag. Okay, cool. Camo Ziploc bag. Nice. And obviously, there's. Nothing in it, but okay, I'll take it. I feel like I just found all the desserts. Oh, okay, we had energy gum. Oh, I should hold it where you guys see it. Energy gum and the military spoon. Probably stabbed somebody with that. Chocolate protein drink powder, beef snack combo pack, teriyaki flavored, and sweet barbecue flavored. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Beverage base powder, orange. Sandwich shelf stable pepperoni and bread. Ooh, cheese spread with jalapenos. Okay. Apple turnover, shelf stable. I keep every time I put it towards the camera, I'm blocking the light source. Let's see, this is all the stuff. So uh, I got matches, I got real matches. Cranberry grape. Looks like I got some jelly kind of stuff in there. There's more gum in there. Okay, well, that'll be useful. What are you? Wheat snack bread. Nut raisin mixed with pan coated chocolate discs. I have a feeling there's a really simpler explanation of what that is, but they can't use it. Pretzel sticks. Completely demolished pretzel sticks. First Strike Nutritious Energy Bar. That has promise. You know, because of all the diabetic stuff, they have me looking at carb count. I shouldn't be looking at carb count here. Lemon Poppy Seed Pound Cake. Oh, the infamous Zapple sauce. I thought it had caffeine in it, but it doesn't. It's um, enhanced with maltodextrin for enhanced increased performance. And it feels really liquidy, so that's going to be interesting. Sandwich bacon in cheddar. Oh, cheddar type flavored bread. That is everything that is in here, and it's, um, I haven't packed it very efficiently. I was just throwing it in there. But this is all the food that I'm going to be eating for 24 hours. And there's a lot, a lot of stuff in here. So I'm going to have lots of options, which is good. So uh, I suppose we should, at this point we should talk a little bit about the plan. So the plan is that we're going to be bikepacking. Uh, bikepacking is, well, bicycle backpacking. 
Uh, these are the guys you see with the with the with the big bags in the back of their bikes. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that, but I don't have real panniers, which is a, I want to call them saddle bags, but in cycling, a saddle bag is actually a bag that fits underneath the uh, the, the the seat. So I don't really have real panniers, um, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Sorry, I'm an American. So I manufactured my own, and uh, we'll go into that on another time. But I do have uh, I do have a tent. I've got a sleeping pad. I've got a cool weather sleeping bag not cold weather but cool weather which should be good for this time of year and of course i've got all the food with me and i'm going to be taking um clothing and stuff like that all in all um i did a couple practice runs fully loaded down and i've got it to about 25 pounds worth of gear plus myself now um i'm really pushing the limits of my bike on that. 20 25 pounds or else i'm, I'm still i'm terrified i'm going to start snapping spokes it's gonna be a, just a 24-hour trip out and back and i'm gonna be staying just outside of sheboygan and I've already called the place up. Um, basically, if I, anytime I can, anytime I feel like showing up, it's all cool. Um, yeah, a lot of people are saying, "Well, dude, just go, just go stealth camping." No, I'm not going to do that. Though. This is basically one of the first tries. I don't want to. That's advanced moshing 101. I don't want to do that yet. And in the interim, there should be pulling about uh, 100 miles over two days, which is it sounds like a lot. It's really not. I actually thought about uh, really pushing the limits and just going way further than that. But let's you know, let's keep it simple the first time. All of the taste testing videos will be on prepack, and if you want to see those, I'll put a playlist uh, probably up there someplace. And also, I'm planning on doing another video talking about the bike packing portion of it, showing the panniers, showing a bunch. Of, well, we'll see what I can show with that, and I'll put that down there. Yeah, and we'll see what happens i honestly have no clue how well this is going to go so we're just going to go for it so i will catch you guys all next time i'll see you guys out on the road